All right. I got Hi, everyone. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> we got the thumbs up from the, the um, hey, do you have like a, do you have a black screen or what is it called behind you? Or are you literally yeah, it's a up wall? I'm you're in up a different room. A wall. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a white wall. I can't hear you. I got to turn this up. Um, welcome. Welcome to Jewel Limb School Live. I'm so excited. Tonight we have the wonderful Joan Dice um, joining me. We were chatting. <laughs> We were chatting about the Creative Soul Box for um, September, and we both were, you know, like, well, you could do this and you could do that. And I was like, yeah, you, you know, that's exactly like this box is so component driven this month. Um, and the majority of all of the bits and pieces are vintage. And so I am just going to back up a little um, for those of you that don't know where you are um, or who I am. I'm Juliana Avalar and I'm the inventor of the Jewel Loom Bee Bloom, the uh, the blue one here. Whoops. And this is the Jewel Loom uh, channel where I love to weave creativity, life and love. <laughs> <laughs> and so we mostly talk about creativity, but we are always weaving life lessons and uh and and somehow love gets in there and other try you know other things love triangles why do I say love triangles there's no love triangles that's so funny i'm like cuckoo for cocoa puffs right now over the whole you know taylor swift kelsey thing football delicious dude i don't know you all may or may not know what i'm talking about but i kind of went down the rabbit hole and so if i start singing you know Taylor Swift songs. <laughs> I never was a Swifty until Josh and Julie went to the concert. And I, and so like, I'm just kind of, you know, kind of just in the background trying to be cool. But anyway, on that note, so this month, um, I was really lucky several months ago, I got a hold of these gorgeous, big, huge, ginormous two hole uh, squares and they're vintage glass and so on the back of them they have like a gore you know beautiful gold and then on the fronts they have all these iridescent colors and so the box was full of vintage items and i was <clears throat> excuse me i was lucky enough to go to a storage unit <laughs> where I found some more vintage items from a designer that in the 60s designed Disney outfits for Disney. So she was an, an artist from Disney. So, um, so these really cool, crazy, I think it, it's like I can imagine them like on a jacket, like if they weren't on some sort of a, you know, regal jacket or something. So these are in the Creative Soul Kit. And um, normally I do a course. And so you, you would not see um, really any of this process. But as I mentioned, it just felt like there were so many options for the, for the um, kit this month. And yeah, he will definitely soon get a song. Kristen, Kristen knows what I'm talking about. And so, um, yeah, so. So the kit is just a combination of a, real, a lot of really cool things. And one of the, one of the materials that I was in, you know, visualizing was wire. And, you know, a lot of you may remember me or know me because of artistic wire, you know, that was way back in the day, back in the nineties, when I brought, um, met Jack O'Brien who, uh, had the wire and I ended up working with him to bring it into the hobby craft industry. And so I'm actually known as the fire behind the wire. There was a big article written on me. And so I used to do a ton of wire working, like a ton. And, um, and then I got into the looming and, you know, so I love them both. I love them both for sure. But yeah, so anyway, um, we, we definitely will put the link to this video in the school. So when people are members of the Creative Soul community and they get a monthly kit, 
uh, based on a design that I typically have designed unless I reach out to Trisha or Danielle or, um, well, I haven't reached out to Joan yet for a course yet. So uh, look at her. She's like, <laughs> I'm freaking out there. <laughs> She's, 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 she's got talent. She's got talent, but um, yeah. So, so I thought that, and, and you have some ideas as well. Oh, and so I just want to talk about two. So if you don't remember, there is, there's kind of like a part one to this, actually, this is kind of like part one B, I guess. But if you recall a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on on the box. And I was talking about how my girlfriend had just worked the New York fashion show week and the model, there was a model. I mean, there was a bazillion models, but a model came in with multiple layers of squared of a necklace. And it was like all these squares and oh. she's telling me about it. Yeah. And then she's telling me that in the back, there's like a, like a focal piece, like a medallion. So for us, I'm thinking, wow. and if you took this class, if you recall the jewel drops, now the jewel drops became drops because we sewed them together. But if you leave them flat, they're, they're a medallion. So they're just a patch of seed beads with all the loop-de-loops. And if you want to add bugle beads or whatever you could, and then, you know, that could be in the back. So all of a sudden it became very, um, I very much wanted to empower all of the students to not feel like they had to use all of these components on the loom. I wanted to empower everyone. Like if it's speaking to you to do stringing, you know, string, if you want to take one of the squares and put some head pins in them and do some really cool earrings or you know, you could just put one of these on, on some flipping silver silk. I mean, come on now. Can I get an amen to that? <laughs> amen. <laughs> that would look super hot, super simple. I mean, one of the pink ones on top of Neely silver silk, just like a little pendant. Oh my God. It'd be so awesome. So, you cool. know, that, Speak, you know, you talk about the medallion in the back, and I was yeah. trying to think how to get it to lay right. We could weave stuff in the front and the back and connect the front and the back with the silver silk so it lays right. See what I'm saying? I, I was trying to figure out that until you said silver silk. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think silver silk lends itself to this kit because, in essence, the silver silk chain is very vintage. Like, you know, it, it really screams that, you know, it's very Royal. It's very vintage. Like it's, you know, it's very, put your crown on. <laughs> so I think, let's see, what does she say? Stone bar beads between. Yes, absolutely. So before we get any further, I also want to mention to you that the, the creative soul kit had completely sold out. Um, and so the version, I'm calling it version one, that the Creative Soul community bought and um, has, that sold out. But what I can do is I can put together a single strand with a lot of other yummy stuff. Not necessarily, again, it probably won't, it won't have the vintage Disney, you know, those were, those were for the commute for the creative soul people that bought in at the beginning, but it's on the homepage. And if you watch this demonstration and you're like, Holy guacamole, I need, I need a strand of that. And I want a kit. You can go to the homepage and you're going to see where it says join jewels on YouTube. And I just put that as a placeholder. You're not going to see what you're getting. So you're going to have to trust me that I will put something together with one of the strands because these bad boys retail, well, they're, they're not even on the market. I mean, they're just not even on the market. So they're not cheap, 
So I'll do one strand of these and then all of these other delicious, you know, like I have, whoop, I still have some of these gorgeous discs and I, I have, I have stuff. I have stuff. I can make a really pretty thing. So if you're in awesome, I'm going to call it, it's called version two creative soul, uh, vintage disco, um, glitz version two. And so just so you know, the other thing is that I added some by the dozen artistic wire by the dozen and the deluxe coiling gizmo to the website. And there's a coupon for that artistic wire, a coupon. There's a code, a coupon code. Joan's going to share it with you. Um, if I I'm did, not, but I'll share it again. Okay. I think it's YT30. Basically, that's going to get you 30% off on the by the dozen artistic wire and the deluxe coiling gizmo. So that code YT30 will give you 30% off of what on the wire packs they need they need you need to buy them because they need to go home with you <laughs> so what else do we have going on as far as housekeeping i do have a bead a seed bead cell going on and um was that c csb20 um yes i have that one up too okay but yeah. it was, um, let me, let me make sure. Um, so CSB 20. Okay. Yeah. So that's for all the Toho seed beads. So lots of good stuff going on in the shop that if you want to help support, um, you can go over there and, and do a little shoppy shoppy. So Shakuisha. Did I say it right? I said it right this time. <laughs> 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 she's like my secret bestie she doesn't even know it because i'm always like thinking about her and her beautiful name it's important to me to enunciate it correctly i go crazy when people spell juliana wrong like because it's got two ends i hate when they pronounce my name wrong how could the, anybody <laughs> pronounce joan wrong do people really do that in Indiana, you would think Joanne would be with two N's, but in Indiana, J O A N is Joanne. And that's where I, you know, I moved there when I was six. Oh. <laughs> but I still get people here doing it. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I would never look at your name and go and, and <laughs> that you were a Joanne. That's funny. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> so I'm um, kind of got like this camera craziness all around me right now. And I'm sitting on a little stool because the only way to kind of show you the coiling gizmo is to do it from the computer. So I don't know if you want to make me big screen all the screen. Yeah. And let me take myself. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't look like a little, little lunch, but yeah, don't put, yeah, not my overhead, just my, can you hear me though? Okay, cool. So so I have, let me just bring this down. So I have the racket to the coin, to the deluxe coiling gizmo. It's connected to the table here. Okay. So, and you definitely want to work on a surface that um, you're not going to damage, excuse me. Like if you're working on like pressed wood or anything like that, and you try to screw this on there, I don't want you to like put an indentation in your um, table. So just be conscious of what you are working on. I'm going to show you the sample. This is what I made. So this is one of my little funky, chunky little beads. And this is a, a three process. So three step process. And I'm working with 26 gauge wire. And so I'm working from a personal spool, so I'm not working from one of the by the dozen um, five yard spool. Uh, this is something that actually came out of my stash. Oh, that is so funny. Kara says she bought the gizmo when I was in Scottsdale. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the rod. So these are the two smallest rods in the kit. And I'm going to start with the one that is um, 
like number three in line, right? So it's not the smallest, but it's next to the smallest. And I'm gonna put it into the holes. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the wire and I'm actually gonna take the wire so it's in my lap. And then I'm going to just take a little bit of it here and wrap it around the handle. Okay, and then I'm just gonna let my hand rest on the dowel here, and my thumb is gonna guide the wire, okay? And then I'm just gonna push forward, and I'm keeping an eye on the coil to make sure that it's not like going over itself. Come in a little tighter there so that I can actually see what I'm doing. And I can see that it's a little loose, so I'll scrunch it together. You know, this has been demonstrated, I mean, probably at least 100 times on jewelry television. I used to demonstrate it all the stinking time. So you can see that every once in a while, I just like pinch it together. And, you know, if you really feel confident, you can kind of get your your tool going pretty fast. You just don't want to coil over the coil because that's not the result that you want. So we're going to make this couple, maybe an inch and a half. Whoops. scooch that. I'm just going to do a little bit more because I want it to be small. Okay. So let me bring this up to the camera here. So you could see that is my coil. So that's like step one. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I will undo it from the handle here. Got to find the end. I see you. Okay. Okay, and then we'll slide that off. And then I'm gonna bring in my wire cutters. And I'm gonna use the flush part of the wire cutter and I'm gonna get as close to that as I can. Okay, so now we have two pieces. We have the original coil and we have the wire that is still on the spool. And so I'm gonna take the end of that wire and I'm gonna feed it through the coil and I'm gonna let the coil drop. Ooh, might be a little, feels like we got a little kink. There we go. Okay, cool. So we'll just let that drop. And then I'm gonna do the same thing where I come over here and I wrap it around the handle, okay? And I'm gonna bring everything and put it back in my lap, go through the holes. And then this time I'm just gonna give it like a little necktie, you know, like just, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And where'd you go? Then I'm gonna slide that coil up. All right. And I want it to, I want the tail to be facing me. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around the handle. Okay, and now I'm gonna feed the coil up onto the dowel. All right, so very carefully, you can see I have my pinchers and they're pinching very lightly. They're just, they're gonna help guide that coil. So we're gonna push forward on the handle and you can see how the coil is feeding itself up onto the dowel. I'm gonna to try to bring you a little closer without causing a complete <laughs> crash. How's that? A little bit better. Okay. And so you can see the wire bead being made and you just wanna keep a nice consistency because you want that to be all the same size. And then we're gonna end it with the same little, um, 
ending that we started with so that the, they're even, okay? So then I'm gonna take that off. Let me bring it up to the camera and you can see it. Isn't that cool? So this would be fine as it is. You could certainly, um, you could certainly use the bead in this uh, two-step process. And let me just cut it here. And we're just going to cut one. I'm going to cut the shortest one. So you see that beautiful bead? Absolutely gorgeous. We could just use it that way. I don't, let me see. I think my head pen, I don't know if my head um, is big enough. But, oh, yeah, see, it's not big enough. But you could put a head pen through there and just like, you know, like here's one that's finished, right? This is heavier wire. And if you take a look at these, look at the rondelles on the end, and then you could just take some wire and actually make, make your own ending, your own findings. Isn't that gorge? But what I like to do is I like to do it a third time. <laughs> I like to do it a third time. So I'm going to take the bead, okay, with the tail face up to the ceiling. And I'm once again using the wire from the spool okay and then i'm going to bring in the super tiny rod bring everything towards me here and i'm going to wrap this around and i'm just going to do whoops out of the way. I'm just going to do a little bit of a neck here. And then I'm going to bring that bead up, wrap it around the handle. And then ever so carefully, I'm going to start to feed it up onto the rod. And the idea is to keep it all nice and tight so that you have like this chunky, funky bead. So what it's doing is it's taking that whole bead and then kind of like making it into a round bead, right? Instead of a long wire bead. Kind of hung up over here, bear with me. Okay, and then we're just gonna cut that off. Just wanna make sure I don't cut the... And then we can just, let's see, where's the ending at? There's one. Where's the other ending? Where'd you go? I'm not sure where that went. We're just going to pretend that this is an exit. <laughs> so now we got two of them on there if we wanted to. And so my whole, I'm going to come back up here. So my whole thought process was that, you know, you could then take your round nose pliers and then add them, you know, like if you were going to do a choker, right? They could just become your little dangly dupes off of your piece. If you're going to do a choker or a necklace, I would highly recommend that you use the large wisdom warrior or the large sun weaver because you're going to need the length and it's going to be a little bit more challenging on the original jewel loom because you only have so much. Carmen says, I haven't used my Coleman gizmo in so long. 
I know, me too. And I I told Joan, I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something with wire. <laughs> she was like, wow, okay. Um, when you use the bigger rods and you use a heavier gauge wire, you get big chunkies. Look at the difference. 26 gauge, you the last two, um, the last two rods and this is probably it feels like it's an 18 gauge wire i can't i can hardly do these anymore because of my wrist but they're so beautiful kelly i think i sent you a bunch of them i know i dribbled i, I dribbled finished wire pieces into was it month before last i did i i put some stuff into the kits but look at this one how gorgeous so the fun thing too is like um you could take your head pen and take a bead. Okay, so there's a bead. And then take your wire piece. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my God. I don't even know who I am right now. I love this. I love this so much. And then like, could you do something? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how I feel about that, but I think if I did another one, right, I could do another one and I need a little bit. I'd have to smush this a little because I've got to do the loop, but now I've got like a pendant. so stinking awesome very very fun i love that idea okay let me put this one on on here and um i'm gonna have to undo that let's see so let's do another one i feel like what happened here i feel like the top and the bottom is that what happened might be what happened Oh, well, I think it's still usable. Okay, so now you got two, right? Oh, come on, get out of town. Okay, these beads are not the beads that are in version one. Version one has some gorgeous, I mean, they're so stinking gorgeous. They're like a blue gold a b come on now um but i was thinking would this be interesting where you could take the square and put your head pens up and through there right oh my gosh come on how sick and cute is that he's like a little martian <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's just so I'm like, I'm just thinking like this could be that little focal piece for the silver silk, right? So like you could just have your little drop and that's just one of these. So the creative soul community, when they, for, when they got their boxes, the full boxes, they have two strands. Well, actually they have three strands. They're going to be making jewelry till the cows come home. So very stinking cool. What did Maria say? These Thursday classes are good. Aw, they're good for mine too. And Joan. we got to keep Joan out of jail. Anyway, so that's my little wire inspiration. I just love, love, love these little nuggets. I think they're so fun and unique. And they just make your piece look very special and different. I'm going to undo um, this piece before I cut my arm open. <laughs> I, a couple of times, leaned over. I was like going to have a booby trap. So, yeah. Okay. So, Joan, do you want to, um, were there any, any questions? No questions. Okay. Uh, that I, you, unless I missed one.
What do you got? I got some loom stuff too, but I wanted to show that wire stuff while my hands were still happy. Oh, wait, where are you, honey? Yeah. I, I didn't know I went off, but the one you showed where you stuck the um, yeah. head pins up here, you, can, you know, that drops. Well, get rid of my overhead because there's too many of us on the screen. Okay. Let, okay. Now, you know, you stuck the two with the, and if you had okay. loops at the bottom, you can hang maybe a little bit of chain and have some dangles for more decorations for your pendant or oh even to make an earring. Because you yeah. could, you know, form, make a loop at the top with the tops of the head pins. Yeah. That's why I'm saying I feel like the September Creative Soul Vintage Disco Glitz Workshop Kit <laughs> is all of these cool components where you, like I did, my table is full of all kinds of stuff that I pulled out from my personal drawers behind me. And and just got inspired by the wire. You know, there's just so much that you can you can do. I'm gonna cut one of these um, squares really quick because these are gorge. These are the ones that have like the teal pink. There's another thing I was thinking about with the um, squares. Um, somebody might be, I mean, I'm still working on designing my head, but you know, making it like a, some kind of pendant here but have it connected and it, instead of going around the neck, it just it goes over your shoulders and maybe something uh, in the uh, back, like a small pendant. So it just uh, lays on your shoulders instead of around your neck. Oh, that's hot. Like a shawl. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, it, it would, it, it would end up being kind of square shaped, you know, the hole to go over your head. Okay. Yeah. Or you'd have some kind of pendant that, I mean, some kind of hook to hook, you know, I guess if you use a toggle class or something, you can hook the back pendant onto yeah. that. Yeah, no, I love that. I, I just think that there are so many different cool ideas. And if my hands would work, I would use the round nose pliers, but I can't get them to really maneuver right now. So this is one of the other tiles with the, the teal and the pink. Look at how it changes. Hey, I'm teal. Hey, babe, I'm pink. <laughs> And I'm purple also. <laughs> oh, purple. And if you just do that, I am purple. Oh my heck, look at it. <gasps> Stinking. And awesome. what I love about this is you got three colors. Oh, one of them sh shows a gold, but you know, if you well, want solid gold, just flip yeah. it over. But like yeah. mine was laying there and it looked almost gold. Yeah. And then I picked it up and it was purple or pink. Yeah. No, that we do have. So on the backs of the vintage two holes, um, they are gold so yeah so really really um just lots of really cool ideas let's see i love those large beads yeah nancy so if you weren't um here earlier i am able to put together a version two of the creative soul kit it doesn't have everything that version one came with um and so uh right now it's just with a placeholder where it says it's got an image of watch jewels on Thursdays, but uh, you, you'll just, if you're interested, you can let me know, you can go ahead and buy, you know, I will put together something that is delicious. So, oh, good. You just got yours. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Good news. Yes. The color shifting is fantastic. Well, when I got the opportunity to buy um, these beads, I was just like, how can I not? Um, many times, that's what I love about the creative soul community is that, I mean, we're in three years now, three years. Wow. I, can't, I can't even believe it. And the, you know, just the support and the grace and the love of letting me <laughs> birth every month. What is, you know, what is worthy, what is right, what comes to me, what I can get my hands on. Cause I like for it to be different. You know, we mix it up a lot. I love when Danielle does comes along and she helps us out with patterns. And I love that. And I love, um, I think Trish has done at least, I think she's done. Has she, has she done one? Maybe three. She's done a couple. 
and, and I know sometimes what happens too is like if I'm whatever, then Trish will. You've had her add. You've had her oh, add to one too. She did. She did the Sedona hat band and the birthday bracelet. Yeah, but that hat band, what she did with those resin flowers. Oh yeah. Seriously, she knocked it out of the park. So big congratulations to Trisha. She she got her thousand subscribers, so now she has to work on her her watch hours. So super stoked for her. And uh yeah, so we all kind of wanted to pitch in and help each other out with that. But so do you have something to show us? Do we need to go to your table or um, I'm not set up to go to my table. I just okay. have it next to me because the one camera I have set up because my you remember my laptop shows me all angelic. So. Uh, well, we like, we like angelic uh, Joan. She, she, she stays out. Of okay, trouble. next time I'll, I'll let myself be angelic so I can set up the <laughs> um, tabletop. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, well. Then, um, so you don't have anything to hold up that you want to show everybody? Uh, no, but you know, I, you know what I'm wanting to, I don't know if you could see this. Um, let me wait, let me try this. I have to, Oh, excuse my chest. Oh, let's do it this way. Sorry. Wanna, yeah, no worries. What oh. I was thinking, oh, can yes, you see yes. it? Uh, I see your table. And I got it and it's showing upside down. Okay. okay. So what I was thinking was putting these two blue beads in between each one. That's why it's laid out. And then put gold beads, yes. these gold beads. Yes. See, this isn't working. Um, yeah. On either side of the blue beads. Because for some reason, I like rows of threes. And then okay. put dangles directly below these little dang. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, no, these I little love that. dangles. I'm just yes. trying to think what I want to dangle off of them. I So that's what I'm thinking, but I'm thinking that for a bracelet. Okay. And so the blue beads that Joan is showing are in version one. That's what the community received in their workshop kit. And I added those because it did appear that they would match uh, two of them. And it sounds like you're telling me I'm correct, that two of them would go in the middle of a square bead. Well, I think you might need a couple of these little rondelles, you know, those oh, little yeah. pretty, those you little know, to fill in the space, which I yeah. would put them in the middle. That's what I was thinking. Oh, okay. Okay. So let me take myself off so I can fix my. Okay. Yeah. And then if you want to put me um, on the overhead, I'm just going to show a little bit of what I was thinking about for the loom work. So like if you just wanted something, you know, Again, there's so much in this workshop kit. And if you add your accoutrements, <laughs> like you're going to be able to get a lot of different things. I will be excited to see what Kelly, Kelly is kind of a master at stretching the kit out. And she always tells me, like Jules, you give us so much and I can do this and that, you know? So, um, so yeah. So if you want to, you want to put the overhead next to me, Joan? Okay. So what I got going on here is I, I did warp with the 0.5, um, hemp cord by Hemptique. And I'm using uh, the green wildfire and, of course, a jewel loom needle. And I'm going to, for, for my bracelet, now, Joan just showed it. I don't have one out here, but Joan can show us when she comes back on. In version one, everybody got a vintage glass gold button. It's to die for you know, where are you going to use that in this plethora of <laughs> expression just waiting to be had? For me, when I started to think about laying out my bracelet for y'all, I was like, you know what? I think I want to do a slider. So I got in my stash 
and I got one of the 20 millimeter gold sliders and I'm going to do a row of eight O's. I've got no idea how many I need. So I'm just going to kind of start picking them up because remember we have to fill the space, right? So let's just pick up some eight O's and see what happens. And Remember now, nobody's going to see these ados because they're going to be underneath the slider. So they can be from your bead soup. They don't have to match. No one's ever going to see them. So let me just see if I need one more. And it does look like I just need one more. And let me tell you what that is. So that's two. That's three, four, five. That's nine. So if you want to take note, nine eightos equal one square, one, one big square. Okay. Nine eightos. So I'm going to get those up here. This is going to be my first row. Again, nobody's going to see it because the slider is going to go right over it. And I just want to make sure that my needle is going on. And because I don't have like a bunch of warps to keep this very stable. I'm going to come in here with my fingers and I'm going to sandwich the beads so they don't get all crazy. Okay. And then I'm going to go back through them. to go back through them but I'm going to go on the bottom this time and I'm going under the warp and this is just something that I've started to do um, it just kind of makes me feel a little bit better about the process okay. and then once again Okay, so that looks pretty sturdy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one of my big guys here. So let's see how the, oh, we've got so many things going on. Let's get that out of the way. And I'm holding this just because it's, glass. It's vintage. It's huge. <laughs> okay. So here's one of my, here's one of my, I totally forgot about this. Okay. So I'm not going to go back and do it just for time. I could probably go back and do it afterwards. But what I was thinking is there's going to be a gap, right? You're going to have like this, this gap. And one of the things that Trisha does very well is she adds decorative trim. I think it's fair to call it trim. She does really good beaded trim to her bracelets. So what I could have done, I'm thinking, um, is that I could have picked up maybe like say some 11 O's and then gone in. But I'm going to wait to see, like, I'm going to wait to see, see what I feel about that. So I'm going to kiss that up there and I'm going to go back through the hole. <laughs> These are so amazing. Oh my gosh, seriously, I can't. And so it's very much like our little six millimeter ones, but not. <laughs> and then I'm going through the bottom hole. And you know, it might not even be a deal breaker. It might be okay with with how it looks in the end. So there's my first one. Very exciting. Okay. And now what I got to do is I've got to decide. So earlier, earlier I was playing around and let me just bring these into, um, let me scooch these out of the way. 
So I had the fire polish, these beautiful little fire polish and these guys, which putting together version two for you, I'll be able to add the fire polish and these gorgeous little discs. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I was able to pick up a disc, five millimeter fire polish, pick up a disc, five millimeter, pick up a disc, five millimeter, pick up a disc. And I'm going to bring that up to the camera. Whoa, where'd you go? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's not too many, but let's see. Nope, just perfect. Oh my heck. All right, super gorgeous. So then I just want to make sure that my needle, so much like our experience last week with the blush burgundy kit where we were mixing it up, we've got the same opportunity to do that with this kit. I mean, look at how cool. So you can really make a very interesting bracelet with some pretty simple pieces and then the focus stay on these vintage glass pieces. People are going to be like, where'd you get that? Like for sure. I am sure they're going to be. All right. Let me do one more. Um, let me do one more big guy. And here's a tip. So we want the pink side of the bead to be facing up towards the ceiling. So I want to take my needle, get the cameras here, and I want to go through the top hole from the left side to make sure that the pink is facing up to the sky. Yep. Okay. Perfect. All right. If I wanted the gold, then I would flip it over and do the same entry. Uh, the fire polish are fives, Maria. They're five millimeters. And like I said, I'll be able to put a strand of those into version two's kit. This will come together very, very, very quickly. Yeah. If you don't try to like, you know, just keep it simple so that the tiles are the focus, I bet you could get this bracelet done in under an hour. It, it's, it's lining up so beautifully. It really loves its love in the looming very very much wow wow okay <laughs> um i think these other guys are going to be just way too big but for giggles for giggles okay let me just see something really quick i'm going to take two of these guys let's see let's see what they look like so we need something so we could Oh, we could do, we could do one of the gold. Let me get one of these guys, one of the gold. Ooh, could we do a disc, a gold, a disc, and then one of those? That might be hot. Okay, hold on. Let me pick up one of these. And then I'm going to pick up one. Of, I'm going to get this gold guy. This is in version um, one. Okay, and then let, oh, okay. That's so cool. Oh, is it going to be a little too big though? Crap. Yeah, it's going to be a little too big. So let me get rid of the discs. Or, well, let me just see. Let's see if that, if this works. Oh my God, look how beautiful that is. I just can't. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So for version one, the creative soul community, you have, um, 
your B, your big guys look a little different. They're predominantly blue, A, B. So you should be, they were this, I believe they're the same size. So you should be able to do the same thing. Look at that. That is stinking cool. Let me bring that up to the camera a little bit here. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm happy. I hope you are. <laughs> I'm wondering if I would want to go under, back through, and over because I'm seeing a little bit of a bouncy bounce. So let me see if I can't achieve that. So I'm going to go under the warp, back through the beads, under. And this is just going to give it a little bit more stability, like a little bit more oomph. And then I'm going to go back through. Whoops. Well, where are you? There we go. Wow, that's really incredible. I am loving that so much. It's so very, very pretty. Alternating between would be awesome. Yes. Hi, Deborah. I miss you. How are you? So, Deborah is kind of like our, <laughs> not kind of, I'm just going to give you the title of choker, choker queen. She makes some um, outrageously cool chokers. So now we could go back to to the fire polish. So what was that? A, a disc, a fire polish, a disc, a fire polish, a disc, a fire polish, and a disc. Okay, so I'm totally going to encourage you like whatever's happening in between each one of these vintage glass tiles, like go for it. I mean, these bracelets are going to be so stinking beautiful. Oh my gosh. So happy with this. So happy. going to bring this over into this camera. There we go. That lighting for some reason looks a little different. Aren't they amazing, Deb? So it's very, um, very regal. I love this, you know, what's happening here. It's like a very regal feeling. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'll do another tile, just kind of keep showing you. These guys are just really going um, on so much easier. I don't know why. I mean, I didn't necessarily think they were going to be like hard, but I'm just really surprised. Um, I think it's because, you know, you can hold them and really help. It's not like all the little six millimeter ones, right? I think that's the big difference. And so you're kind of just whipping them up here. Okay. And then, so what did I do? I did a bead and then I did a gold, right? So let's put that over there. And a bead.
And then I'm going to go under just to make sure. Yeah, going through this particular um, row twice is feeling, it's feeling nice. Ow. I'm forgetting back through for some reason is, <laughs> and it shouldn't be challenging. I don't know what's, I don't know what the problem here is. Let's see. Got through you once, buddy. What's the problem? Come on now. I could see it going through. I just can't tell if the gold bead is like turning. Okay, so there's that. Okay, what's happening? There we go. Jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think I'll get one more tile in here. What are you thinking? Hey, Betty, did you get my messages, honey? You can let me know privately. Yes. Okay. So let me just for giggles, see what we got going on here. So that's five inches right there. So for me, I have a six inch wrist. So um, I will have one more row like this. I like this little combination with the, with the, little donuts and the five millimeter fire polish. It's a nice little note to take about what equals what. We haven't done that before, so seems simple, but it's kind of fun to know. Whoops. And I'm not going back through the fire polish because it's much more lightweight than, than those big beads. <laughs> much more lightweight. Okay, let's see here. And then we're going to end it with another row of seed beads. What did I say? Nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go through those, help guide them, and then I want to go back through them, down below here.
Oh, it's just so beautiful. It just makes you want to wear it and like be outside and go, hello. <laughs> I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay. Um, trying to think how I'm going to tie this off. I think I can, maybe I could do this. Let me see for, for giggles. If I can't somehow get a knot in here. Because again, no one's going to see this, but still, I want to. I guess I could just do an air knot, I guess. Wait, what the heck? Let me just see if I can't. My tail's a little. That's not going to work. <laughs> okay, well. I tell you what, I'll just use the wildfire burner. And then make like a little, a little ball on there. sure you practice with this before you use it because you don't want to accidentally burn something off that's not supposed to be burnt off. getting your teeth cleaned. <laughs> I held it up to my size nine. Oh, a ring. That would be pretty badass. What would you do? Would you see, would you make a, a base? So I am going to tell you, I have no idea. Let's see. I hope this goes over. So definitely want to hold this glass and the loom. Oh my gosh, seriously, I just can't. It's so beautiful. Wow. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna um <laughs> might have to think about this one because <laughs> I don't think this is gonna go well. Okay, so do I do something like that? then what am I going to do with these ends? I think if I got a really tight knot, I could stick it in there, huh? I could do that. I could do that. But I'm not going to try to do that without having proper lighting. So let me get this back into the screen. So beautiful. So that is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. So there's seven on a strand. I only use six and the people in the workshop got 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 
25? Was it something like that? You're going to be making stuff till the cows come home. Jules, you wear it on both sides. What do you mean? Like I could, you mean turn it over, right? Just the gold? Yeah. It's interchangeable. Oh, there's a big word. <laughs> it's interchangeable. Yeah. Oh, my heck. Okay. So we got a bracelet. We have, uh-oh, what just happened? Oh. Do you want to get over, you want to get rid of my overhead, Joan? Um, so we've got the bracelet. We could definitely do a choker. We could do earrings. We can do a pendant. We can do a ring. I mean, y'all, this could. Yeah. So much. Did you see the wine rack? Remember I showed you last week the, the wine thing that we're going to do? So I do have this crazy idea. What if we did, what if we, what if we did the wine thing and I source the cork, see that big crystal? And then I come up with something for like a home decor for December. I don't know. I'm just thinking out of the box. Let me know what my creative soul people think. <laughs> Maybe some bugles and yum nums. And it doesn't have to be a wine bottle. It can be, you know, like if you don't drink wine, it could just be a decorative bottle. So this is an empty wine bottle with water in it. And then I have four glasses. But I just got to thinking, wouldn't it be fun to just like embellish that? So here's... I'm sorry. I squirreled. I apologize. I just squirreled. I get excited. I turned and I saw something. Um, but getting back to the kit, <laughs> tell me other creatives do that, right? Like I'm not the only one. Um, so yeah, there's just a plethora of things that you could do with this kit. Just a plethora. I'm super stoked about it. Super, super stoked. Joan, you want to come back on? Uh oh, my hair's falling out. Can you see me? Yeah. What do you think about that? Which one? You mean the bracelet? I I mean the bracelet and this. I'm definitely going to do. I definitely want to do this and I want to attach it to some Anilis. Yes. So and I also thought of something I want to do with wire with one square. You held up um, your bracelet and... You know, I want to feed two pieces of wire and put some, you know, almost like gemstones going across either side and make it a bale up here and hiding, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. So it almost looks like a gem, you know, like a gem pendant. Oh, sweet. I'll post pictures if, okay. you know, I'll try and make one and post pictures yeah. in the um, both groups. Yeah. yeah. No, I love that. I just. And. Is that too big for my finger? I don't think so. No, I'm in. I would, I, ooh, Ileana saying for a belt. That would be Hi, so Kirsten. Hot. That would be so hot. Oh, that for a belt? She was saying oh, for that'd a belt. Be so awesome. No, you could do this. You could do you could do this. If it was smaller, I'd even put like the little gemstones on each side. But that, I think it'd just be so spark. But see, I just think that just the one with the play of colors would be no, so it. cool. So you could play with it while you're wearing it. Well, this has got the teal, purple, pink. Look at it go. Look at it go. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So let me just think how I would accomplish that. I think what I would do is I would, okay, so you know how the bracelet was just on the loom? So the bracelet was just on the loom. So right. what if all of this was just, you do the tile, and then all of this is your ados for your band, and then, and then, See, I was thinking of simple wire wrapping. 
<laughs> okay, and I have to go to the loom every time. So no, it would be this would be in the middle. The t the tile would be in the middle, and there would be eightos on each side, just like we do all of our other rings. And then we would sew the back. Easy. That easy would time. be a good idea. I wasn't even thinking that. I was just thinking wire wrap, because I made a wire wrap ring last week. So that or that was wire weave. That yeah, cool you could too. do that too. No, I'm telling you, this kit lends itself to like I couldn't bring myself to say this is what you're gonna do. Now, I just showed you, because some people do need structure, and I respect that. So we did this bracelet, and it was very simple and very cool, but there's so much more you can do. You know what would be cool? So if everybody submits all their designs, and we can yes. put together a video of it, you know, just yes. like flash each picture for seven seconds and put it on the business yeah. page. I'm in. Just showing the inspiration from a workshop kit. No, I want to show off our community, any and every chat. I was just telling Lori that I want, I want to start bringing on our community. Like I want people to come on. I think Streamyard we can host. Can't we host up to like ten or twelve people? So like we could, we could just like we could start featuring like look at everything Kara does she's so good at posting Ileana oh, posts yeah. her stuff Maria's constantly posting like there's a plethora of people in the community that I think would be really stoked to come on and give their take to a kit yeah that would be fun I'm just saying especially right. this type of kit where you could come up with like a thousand right. different designs yes a thousands might be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, even just using like one bead, you could do like yeah. a bunch of different things one if you bead. just use one bead. Right. Okay. So here's an example. If you have a six inch wrist, right? So there's the bracelet. Uh -huh. I still had one left over. So now I got a bracelet and a ring. Right. And, that's and you can even just have a bracelet with a focal and then do stuff on the, you know. Yeah. You could do friendship style. I mean, there's just a or seed beat around it or, you know, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. No, I love this collection. And that's why I was like, okay, I don't feel like it's just one thing that I want to communicate. Like I, you know, from a creative designer standpoint, it's like, there's so much you could do, you know? Right. So, I hope everyone feels that way. Deborah's saying the leather silver silk would be interesting. That would be hot. Hmm. That would be way hot. Yes. I'm okay. gonna now I'm gonna have silver silk all over my living room floor tomorrow, and I'm gonna be matching it up with all these beads. <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing. I have a box. I have a stash. I still don't have any th three needle. Neely Neely needs to get me some of that. Hook them on I, I showed I showed Ginger the three needle and she stole my purple. Oh <laughs> she's so naughty. She is. <laughs> I have I still have a, another piece of it, but not as big because I've used off of it. <laughs> so um just to kind of go over everything again, Betty, I saw you in here. Betty, um, Betty Strong, Betty Strongman. Uh, respond to me privately. Just let me know. Either way, easy peasy pumpkin squeezy. And um, huge shout out to Lori Plummer for the way she is showcasing her jewelry. Um, she uses these little pillows. They look like little sand sandbags uh, with canvas. They're like made out of, um, I think it's a canvas. And she, she's really good at signature pieces, meaning that she's adding. Well, first of all, how do I know this? The shop right down the street here carries her stuff. Wow. That she made on the Mama Jewel Loom. I mean, who's Aww. proud? Right now. Yeah. I so, bet that brings tear to your eyes when you see it in there. It did <laughs> out of pride. <laughs> all, of you, all of you bring tears because I just love what you do. Um, my hair is falling out. Sorry. It's just is what it is. And no, every, and Ileana's so, she's been working 
I was just going to say you've been working the streets. She's been working the street <laughs> fairs. <laughs> She's been working the street fairs. She's been working the street fairs. And, you know, every, everybody just does so, such amazing work. And what I love is, like, everyone has different goals, you know. Like, some people, like, it's, oh, it's my love. It's my hobby. I do it for myself. We are in your court. Oh, I just want to make like a little extra money. We are in your court, you know, like, oh, I need to supplement my income. Girlfriend, I am totally in your court. So I just love seeing what everybody does. And yes, I, I get very proud and very emotional. So it's all good stuff. Um, version two will be similar to version one, but it will not have all of the, all of the quantity and, and everything, but it will be delicious. So if you want some of the tiles and you were unable to get them, I think I can put together 10 pretty strong kits. I'm not going to have an image overnight. You're going to have to just trust me. So if you want one awesome sauce and if not, now how do they get it? How did, is it's, it in the it's shop? On the front page. It's if you go to the front page of jewelim.com, I it says it's got the picture where it says join jewels for YouTube. But if you if you hover over it, it's the kit. Oh, yeah, it's the kit. You want more? I was Deborah? wondering why I said shop add to cart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't have time. I was right before we went on, I was just like, Oh crap. Like I still have some stuff and I could put something together to make something delish. So, and we got codes for discounts on the wire, uh, Y T 30, 30% off on the artistic wire and the deluxe tool. And I just posted that about five. Well, I guess it's been about 20 minutes ago. Okay. Because it's almost 20 after eight now. <laughs> yeah, you're doing good. I could post them again. Yeah. Okay. Because I know Very we good. had some later, you know, late arrivals. I'll post them again. Okay. Because. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you. The want coiling gizmo, the coupon. That for the coiling gizmo and the um, and the artistic wire is only good through Saturday, right? I think so. I think that's what you said. Yeah, I might change it. I it needs it they, it needs homes. It's too it's too much for me here. I so I probably will go change the date for just to be an infinite until sold out because I just it needs to go. Okay, just let me know. Oh, let me speak to Leanne. Leanne, I was so glad you're here, honey. So, yes, it's going to be a replay. We're going to put the link in the course so that it's easy for you to find it in the school. So we'll do that. And, um, yeah. It'll so. be on the blog. It'll be on the link. Yeah. It'll also be on the um, YouTube channel, too. And in the school, yeah. Yeah, so... Okay. I think we're good. Poor Brando. He's been so patient. He's like had to go for a walk for like three hours now. <laughs> oh, poor baby. It's not been that long. He's fine. I gave him some melatonin and knocked him out. Now I gotta, <laughs> now I gotta get him for a walk. So um send I guess text me to about the tiles and everything if you need, or just go just go grab the those that are online right now first come first serve well, leanne, hopefully they'll sell tonight leanne don't go to the school right now because the link link won't be up there that quick so because doesn't youtube have to populate it the link doesn't come up for a couple hours no, pa, um the school well you have school. to put it in the school i have to put it in the um, school it'll be there tomorrow but uh, the YouTube will be there. I mean, after the show, just give it 
less than a minute and then you can start watching oh, it again. Okay. So Leanne, you can watch Just refresh it. the page. Yeah, you can watch it from here, from the YouTubes. But but tomorrow I'll go throw it in the school and Deborah's driving. So don't be, um, don't, don't drive and shop at the same time. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And just text me, Leanne, if you need help, honey. Okay. Well, I hope, um, I hope this was, this was good for all of the version, you know, for the creative soul community. I really am excited about it. I just, I just feel like there's so many possibilities and we'll, we'll post our examples. Yes. I'll start working on mine. Well, we're going to Dollywood tomorrow. So I'll try to work on mine during the weekend. We're going to Dollywood. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All my trips to Knoxville, I never went to Dollywood. I can't believe that. I have to come and go. Well, like I said, you know, as long as we have season passes, which we have every year, when you come, we can go together and you can get them free. Sounds good. I'll tease my hair. Okay. Oh, they have. I saw a shirt, and I should have taken a picture of it. I no, actually, I do have it. I got to send it to you because I took it for you. It's something about big hair and do and how to picture Dolly. All right. <laughs> Maybe I'll post it on the group page. <laughs> so, do do that. Do that. Okay. And um, think about this idea. I think it would be really fun if we did that for December. That's what I'm kind of leaning towards. I got to source the cork. I got to source the cork. I'm not sure where it comes from. Oh, I was going to say, wouldn't it be fun to do something really blingy, like a cozy for the bottle that just wraps around the bottle? You know, like you do for, I mean, yep. you know, like Cokes have their own cozies and stuff. Just a wrap I mean, around the bottle. It's all sparkly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think, I think that that could be a second idea. Definitely. But for I mean, that could be another there, month. <laughs> for, that could be a whole other month. Yes. Thank you. Cause we, yeah, we always need ideas. <laughs> <laughs> all right i gotta get i gotta get mb buckled up and out to the streets <laughs> okay well it's nice out. seeing everybody here thanks for joining yeah. us thank you guys thank you hugs love and kisses you. so honored that you use the looms i love watching what you do so thank you so much bye